Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Aze and today I am showing you how I do this beautiful, defined, soft, fluffy braid out on my 4C now tailbone length natural hair. This is a style that I did while growing my hair from ear length to tailbone length and I have an entire Getting Back to the Basic series here and I did a, have a playlist called the Getting Back to the Basic series where we outline how we grew our natural hair and how we take care of ourselves with ease and affordability, access and convenience at the center because everyone, regardless of their class or income, deserves to know how to take care of themselves with those things at the center. So if you want to know how I grew my hair tailbone length, you can definitely check this playlist out. But what I didn't include in that playlist is styles that I did to grow my hair this long and this is that style. This is a style that I did consistently, constantly, month after month to have grown my hair ear length to the length that it is now. And I wanted to show you all how I achieve it with just three products because my tip, my ultimate tip to growing 4C natural hair long, healthy, thicker, and stronger is to keep your routine simple, leave your hair alone, give your hair what it needs, and just let it be. And this is how this is how I did it while also making sure that my hair was styled and I felt confident and comfortable in it. I wore the style while my hair was short. I'm wearing the style now as my hair is longer because we deserve to embrace our hair and embrace the beauty of our hair no matter what length it is. So if you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're hearing, do not hesitate to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell notification because let's be honest, you're wanna gonna see more of me, you're gonna wanna see more of Sierra, you're gonna wanna see more of the content, the quality content the real YouTube content that we all have been wanting to see. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So you're probably wondering why I have on gloves and it's because I have eczema and these products can sometimes irritate my hands. So I just wear gloves while I'm doing my hair to protect my hands, not because the products are toxic or anything like that. But now it's time to address the elephant in the room, which is this monstrosity of a head. So if you're wondering, I still press my hair. You check that video out here. Um, I don't even know how long ago that was, probably three weeks ago, probably a month ago. And now it's time for me to do my hair again. And because I use the same three products on my hair, I'm using, I'm using warm tap water, I'm using suave, conditioner, and I'm also using olive oil that I placed into this travel size container. Those are the three things that I'm constantly using to do my hair. Um, so I don't really have anything to wash out of my hair other than like, I don't, because I use the same three products, olive oil, warm water, conditioner to do my hair no matter what the style is. My hair is not dirty, so it doesn't need to be washed, which is the reason why I'm just going to go ahead and revert my hair back with the water and do this braid out style. Um, and because I don't need to wash my hair right now. So yeah, this is what my hair would look like if I had just wanted to do a braid out while my hair was uh, like styled with heat given I don't know oh hello light okay I mean, that was about it's given I don't know what, what is this Brazilian body wave beach wave I don't know what it is but it's cute she's cute but then look at the back all of this that has been caused due to the shower and me not really caring
Okay, so my hair is finally sectioned and obviously I'm starting with the back that has already started reverting because of my carelessness in the shower. Um, so yes, I wanted to speak a little bit about why I'm decided to even do my hair right now because I just wanted to be honest and transparent. I am not and I've never have been a person to do their hair once a week. And I honestly just want to say, like, can we just be honest and transparent and understand that the things we see on social media, we don't have to feel like we have to live our lives by what we see other people do, because I just want us to all get comfortable with being okay with the things we do in our daily lives and knowing that what we do, regardless if we see it affirmed back to us or validated to us by what other people are doing on social media, we are still okay with how we live our lives as long as that's what we're okay with. I say that to say, I have never been a person to do my hair once a week, to change my styles once a week, and also ha keep being my hands out of my hair helps my hair grow. Now, I'm not saying that my hair looks like this all the time, like my hair is just messed up. Typically, it's wrapped or styled, but because my hair had been getting wet from the shower um it's gotten time where if i left it any longer like it just wouldn't be healthy so i never advocate for people to do what's unhealthy for their hair however i do say that sometimes the things that we see on social media that people may make you feel bad for can be the one thing that actually helps you achieve your goals so for the people out there who don't do their hair once a week, who are not washing their hair once a week, who don't do those things. You don't have to feel bad or alone because of those things. You just have to know that that's what you do in your life. That's what works for you. And whatever works for you is good enough. Um, so I just wanted to say that to say, I have a consultation this week and because of this consultation I literally was just like I will not be appearing to this consultation looking like this and as such let me just go ahead and record because I want to show my lovelies how I regularly navigate my hair and what I do to grow my hair out so yes I'm very excited about the consultation and if you don't know what i do but my consulting work is in it's actually in natural hair i offer one-on-one -on -one personalized consultations to help people grow their natural hair longer healthier thicker and stronger because even though i have publicized Everything that I do to have grown my natural hair and Sierra's natural hair longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger and beyond our hair growth plateaus, there are still specific needs that people need to be met in order for them to reach their natural hair goals. And that's what I help people do. So if you're interested, you can definitely book a consultation with me at justforblackgirls.com and we can work and we will work together to get your hair to be as long, healthy, thick, and strong as you may have always wanted it to be and to get your hair past your natural hair growth plateau. So, and I will not be appearing to any professional place or any, obviously just, I will not be making any appearances with my natural hair not in its best state because why not? So I just wanted to say that y'all and now as you have seen, I sprayed my hair and my hair has reverted. There's not any straightness. There's not any places where there ain't no kinks. So no heat damage. So if you wanna see how I got my hair straightened with no heat damage, you can definitely check out my blow dry and soap press video. They're separate, um, they're up here. And it's also in the Getting Back to the Basics playlist. Ugh, I love that. Here's some natural hair ASMR for y'all. Hello, texture. Hello, kinks. Hello, coils. 
and no i'm not worried about the breakage because i don't know if y'all know but i'm not i don't i was not brushing my hair every single day while my hair was straightened i was actually doing quite the opposite because again it's not really like necessary to do that i'm using my suave almond and shea butter conditioner love that she is the goat she's the best love how moisturizing it is how and it's very and it provides slip too like i remember you know that being a whole thing like needing conditioners that provide slip and Another thing that I advocate for when growing your natural hair is to have multi-use products. So I don't have a conditioner to detangle my hair and then a leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair. This conditioner is moisturizing and it provides slip, so it's multi-purpose, meaning that the purpose of me, I've advocated for multi-purpose products is to save you money, A. B, keep your routine simple so that you're most more likely to stick to it and C, actually get you the results that you're looking for. Your hair does not need an elaborate routine. And when you make things easier on yourself, the results that you want come quicker to you because you're able to maintain consistency. So this conditioner right here, love it. Been using it for years. I will continue to keep using it because it has always granted me the results that I have been looking for and has also granted others the results that they have been looking for so if you're interested in a budget friendly highly effective highly moisturizing and slippy conditioner try that out but yeah so i sprayed my hair now this like i said this conditioner is moisturizing so my primary moisturizer is water my secondary moisturizer and what's helping me to detangle is this conditioner once i finger detangle as you're seeing i'm doing now love this method right here Put my hair through, put my hands through my roots, gently pull apart. That definitely helps the process. If there's a knot like this one, put your fingers on it, you pull it, and the knot comes out. The more you finger detangle, the easier it becomes. And I honestly don't think that finger detangling is any more time consuming than brushing your hair with a comb. It literally it takes the same amount of time and saves you hair and helps your hair get thicker. So yes, I'm a finger, I advocate for finger detangling. If you want your hair to get thicker, to grow longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger, use combs and brushes less and finger detangle because you will be saving yourself hair follicles. You will be helping your scalp. You'll be promoting growth. It's totally worth it. After I feel like my hair is sufficiently moisturized, I go in with my handy dandy olive oil, love her, she's so reliable. And I go from ends to root, moisturizing my hair with that. Doing some, got some prayer hands action going, like this. And look at that. Look at those juicy curls. Look at that. I love that. Don't you love healthy natural hair? I do. I love healthy natural hair, baby. Like, don't get me wrong. I will do a silk press. I'll do a blow dry. I love the way my hair comes out. Like, my braid outs come out on blow dry hair. But it's just something about natural, moisturized, shiny, juicy hair that will do it every single time. Honestly, ladies, lovelies, that's it. After that, I'm going to now separate this into three pieces and make them even so that way you can have, as even as you can get it, so that way you can have an even braid, look at those textures, all the way down. Do yourself no traction alopecia, but make sure that it's tight enough and just braid it down. I honestly think that the out, like, I know for a fact that the olive oil is what makes my braid outs come out so soft. And don't get me wrong, 
I'm not opposed to trying avocado oil or grapeseed oil, but in my experience, I have found those oils to be more expensive and just out of my budget. And I can't really could like commit to constantly having that in my arsenal of things. Plus, I've never really tried it, so I don't know how the results would be on my hair. And since I've already been in my natural hair experimental phase, I'm just in a part of my life where I'm sticking to what works for me as I advocate for everyone to do. Just stick to what works for you. Like if you're getting positive results, you don't have to feel pressured to try every single new thing on the market because, and I mentioned this before, just like with exercise, like, you know, fitness gurus and stuff like that. And because this end is raggedy, I will clip it. Like, can you see this end? It's all raggedy. Someone asked me like when I trim. Since I do braid outs often, if I ever see my ends looking like this, I will literally just clip it. Like I don't wait till I do a silk press or wait. I don't I don't do stuff like that. And I also know that that helps promote growth. Like if your ends look like this, just clip it. Clip it. And you don't have to clip a lot. Just clip it until like clip it where it starts to look damage so i will probably clip right here clean off just straight like that so this is what the braid is looking like obsessed with the uniform all the way down and i will repeat this process while doing my hair so as i was saying about the fitness analogy it's not about like the fitness gurus, gurus, a lot of them are now saying that it's not really about doing a lot of random exercises to get results or just for the sake of exercising. You really want to pick a routine and stick with that routine and let the results come to you instead of trying to force them with of doing a million different exercises. So yes i this the same thing goes for natural hair so olive oil conditioner tap water works for me and a lot of people have asked me about my environment if i live in a hard water environment or a soft water environment so i will give some context before i live where i live now i used to live in new jersey and i lived in a part of new jersey that was heavily impacted by lead water it was lead all of it all in our pipes to the point where our water was like brown we had to use filters and stuff like that i didn't even drink tap water when i lived there because it was that bad but on the times when i like on the times when the water was not running brown i was using that tap water on my hair because I wasn't in a position to spend a ton of money on other kinds of water. With that being said, I was able to give my hair moisture that wasn't solely based on water. So I say all of that to say aloe vera is an amazing, amazing alternative to the, the base moisture that your hair need so like i said my base moisture today is water water will always be one of the best ways to hydrate your hair but for those of you who live in hard water environments where you like water cannot be your primary source of moisture aloe vera and i'm not talking about the processed aloe vera where you pick it up in a clear bottle and it's like just this clear mystery liquid i'm not talking about that go to your store Pick up a dollar, two dollar, maybe in some places because of inflation, maybe one leaf will be three dollars. You only need one leaf, honestly. Get that, use that on your hair to moisturize your hair, and don't even thank me. Just pass on the information because it is aloe vera. Like, I sometimes get sad that I don't use aloe vera on my hair anymore because I don't need to but i love aloe vera aloe vera is 
such a great moisturizer for your hair. So if you're worried about using a tap water on your hair as your primary source of moisture, obviously we need to go wash your hair or when you need to, like I use um, tap water to make rice water and stuff like that. So that's what I meant by if the water was running clear in my home, obviously I would wash my hair with that water. I would make rice water with that water and use those products on my hair. But my primary source of moisture nine times out of 10 was aloe vera and that helped a lot. And that was when I was growing my hair before I had cut it in 2020. So my hair, I'm gonna do a hair growth journey video. I always had long hair and I had been on my natural hair journey since like 2012. I never had to do a big shop or anything like that. But in terms of learning how to take care of natural hair, growing it intentionally with holistic DIY products and things of that nature, that started in 2012 when I got old enough to take care of my own hair. And up until 2020, I had been growing my hair out. My hair got to be waist length, slightly past waist length, but really like waist length. And I cut it because the past year I had been through a lot of just mental and emotional trauma and I just felt like my hair was had to bear the brunt of a lot of that because of what I was going through mentally and emotionally I wasn't able to take care of it she was breaking off excessively getting super dry and just dealing with a lot of the collateral like she was collateral damage for the things that I was going through mentally and emotionally so I wanted a fresh start and I cut my hair from waist length all the way up to my ear here's a picture and so I say all of that to say when I was growing my hair between 2012 and 2020 aloe vera was a huge part of my routine and I had, was living in an environment with I would call hard water I mean it, it was heavily polluted with lead and I, I, I had to use it as sometimes, but when I could, I definitely used aloe vera to moisturize and style my hair. And that's what I recommend for my lovelies out there who live in hard water environments. You can't just use tap water all the time. That is what I recommend. And to clarify, like I said, I was growing my hair between 2012 and 2020 and though rice water, aloe vera, those were some things that was a part of my routine then. But my hair had never got tailbone length. It never was as thick as my hair is now. It was never long as my hair is now. From 2020 to now, I have a different routine that I publicized in the Getting Back to the Basics series. Water, olive oil, conditioner, that's it. My protein treatment and this braid out style that I'm showing to you now. So I don't want there to be really any confusion. What I'm telling you that I've done in the Getting Back to the Basic series is what helped me achieve these particular results. From 2012 to 2020, I was heavily experimenting with a ton of different things just to see what will work. And because of all of that experimenting, research on myself and on people in my community, I've gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience working with growing natural hair and that's also why i offer the consultations because i have amassed so much knowledge in natural hair care what works different remedies for different problems what will promote natural hair growth what will help itchiness what will help breakage all like i've amassed a lot of knowledge in those experimental research years from 2012 to 2020 and now in 2023 I have a different routine for my natural hair, that which I have publicized in the Getting Back to the Basics series. I now offer natural hair consultations to my lovelies and anyone out there who may want someone who is heavily experienced in natural hair care and natural hair growth to help them along with their natural hair journey. And the things that I'm telling you that I do now and what you see me doing now is what I have landed on after eight years, nearly a decade of researching, doing work on myself, doing work on people in my community, doing work on various people who were asking me what I was doing to grow my natural hair. Cause don't get me wrong, my natural hair was long and healthy then. 
and I was working with those people one-on-one -on -one to grow their natural hair. But now, what I've done to grow my hair ear length to waist length and beyond is what I'm telling you that I do now. So I don't want there to be any confusion in terms of what I do now, currently, what to do because I'm telling you. And that's just is what it is. So I hope that that clears up any kind of confusion there may be with me talking about what I was previously doing to grow my natural hair. So yes, I'm going to do the same thing with this section and I will, so yes, I'm going to do the same thing with this section, let you get this natural hair ASMR content and I will see you all after my hair is done. Another thing ladies, when you are moisturizing and styling your hair, another thing that I definitely know helps is to just go ahead and massage your scalp. Not only is this moisturizing your scalp, that what your scalp needs, but it's also promoting blood circulation in your scalp, which will help your natural hair grow longer. So that is another tip of mine. Treat yourself, it doesn't have to be for long in order to get the nice, relaxing, and hair promotional benefits, hair growth promotional benefits of massaging your scalp. Treat yourself. Make doing natural hair enjoyable and pleasurable for yourself.
Hey lovelies, at this point in the video, I have to tell y'all to shop the Sunkissed Child brand, my and Sierra's black girl self-care and mental health wellness brand today. If you're looking for high quality candles, positive affirmational t-shirts reminiscent of Y2K, heart melting and soul healing poetry, and many more black women center products for black women made by black women, you have to shop the Sunkissed Child brand today it is one of the things that i am most proud of as a content creator and as a business owner it is my and sierra's first business i'm honest i'm ripping the business right now that shirt is from our business i am worth being here everything in the shop was created with the intention to promote radical self-love and mental health wellness within our community as black women and black queer people because if we don't have each other no one else will. There simply is not enough resources out there for black women and black girls to receive the mental health wellness care and honestly the encouragement to radically love ourselves and take care of our mental health wellness. I do shout out and support all of the black girl wellness resources that are already out there and I'll link them below in the description box. Shout out to those companies and institutions that do work but there will never be enough and this is one way sierra and i do that through our sunkish child brand through our direct mutual aid project that helps black women and black queer people make ends meet and through this community that we have here and on justforblackgirls.com so if you want to support a black girl self-care brand that promotes black girl mental health wellness and for black women and black queer people to radically love themselves and others shop the sun kiss child brand we don't just sell these products we actually back up what we say by our actions through our direct mutual aid project so if you want to donate to that please do so here at this patreon link and last but not least many of you have been asking us how we have started our businesses and how we run so many businesses and because of this sierra will be doing an entire entrepreneur series that which I will hop in on sometimes and we will be sharing with you the insights and the behind the scenes of how we run our businesses how we got started things we wish we knew and honestly just overall encouragement for all of you out there who may be thinking about starting your business but may be wondering how you can start or what you can do to start or you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed because there's so many different kinds of takes and perspectives on what you need to do in order to become a business owner and have a successful business. So I say all that to say, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for those videos, for those vlogs, for those behind the scenes videos, because we have them coming for you all. And we are so excited to share that. And like I said before, if you want to support black women who support black women, shop the Sunkiss child brand today and if you sign up on our for either of our email lists on just for black girls or the Sunkiss child brand you will definitely get a coupon code for every all of the items on the shop so don't say i don't put y'all on go ahead and grab your black girl self-care essentials today
Okay, lovelies, this is what it looks like. I'm literally, like I said earlier in the video, all I'm gonna do is now just cut off the raggedy ends. I ended up having, let's count, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 braids in my head. I usually, sometimes I do eight, sometimes it's 12, sometimes it's 14, but I do try to keep them on the larger side so that way, I just prefer the way that it looks when the braids are a bit larger. And I will check in with you in a couple days to show you how it all comes out. Mwah. Good morning lovelies, it is the morning of my consultations and I'm deciding to take my braids out with you all on camera. If you have any questions about my consultations, feel free to email me at the email here. And you can also send me a message on GFBG. But as I said before, the consultations are to give you all out there one-on-one -on -one personalized assistance on how you can grow your natural hair longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger. Obviously, and always, with ease, accessibility, convenience, and affordability at the center. I have been working with natural hair to grow natural hair for over a decade and i'm so grateful to all of you out there that have decided to book consultations with me so that way i can help you along your natural hair journey it is my honor to be able to help any and all of you out there with your natural hair journey and again the consultations are for those of you all out there who after you have gone through the natural hair information that I publicized on the channel and you still feel like there's you would rather prefer coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching one-on-one -on -one personalized assistance if you would like to work with me that is what I offer the consultation for not to gatekeep not to keep any information from you all I put everything out there that I use to grow my hair and grow so many other people's hair that is all in the Getting Back to the Basics playlist that Sierra and I created for you all. The consultations are particularly for people who after they look at all of the information, they use it, and they still feel like they could use some one-on-one -on -one help and some guidance particular to their natural hair needs. So. If you would like to book a consultation with me, you can definitely head over to justforblackgirls.com and book a session. And I would love to see you all there. So now I'm literally just taking my braids out. Look, and this is what I'll be talking about. My hair is so soft. And I give that, I um, credit that to the olive oil. If you want your hair to be soft, or like olive oil like olive oil softer shinier olive oil and it's great for keeping your hair moisturized over a long period of time so I will always recommend olive oil love it can't get enough of it and using olive oil on your hair that's another huge tip so we're always talking about how manageable our natural hair is due to the texture like people always think that natural hair is difficult to manage but what i've learned in my decade plus of work with natural hair is that if you keep your hair moisturized and soft it will allow your natural hair to be so much more manageable and much more easier to deal with and for me that is 100 percent using olive oil in my hair. Using olive oil in my hair as well as the protein treatment leaves my hair so soft. Like it leaves my hair so soft. After doing my protein treatment or any time after I use olive oil in my hair, like it's so soft. You would think that it was blow dry or something, but it's really not. It's my regular texture, extremely soft and I'm obsessed with it so 
Now I'm just gonna continue taking on my hair and I will get back with you all once I'm all done. All right, lovelies, this is it and I'm obsessed. I have not done a braid out on my natural hair in so long and I'm so happy that I did did it look at this texture look at this definition look at this health and i am perfectly fine with it looking like picture perfect like every single coil like it looks the way that it's supposed to look on a realistic head of hair on a regular black girl with a beautiful head of 4c natural hair we got hair like wool baby hair like the most high he got hair like this all right so in this beat, this tutorial is coming soon. And as always, if you like what you saw and if you like what you heard, do not hesitate to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because let's be honest, you're going to want to see more of your girls. And if you made it this far, drop a pink heart. And until next time, lovelies, bye.